Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. I wonder, could this be one of them? Hey, hey, I, I saw you guys coming up from the tower, the Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. Anything uh, good to report? Besides that you're still alive, which I'm glad, you know, don't get me wrong. Thanks, um, yes, I am still alive, but, uh, no, other than that, no. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. Okay, Ren, how have you tried? And have you tried it more than once? Hey, we've tried. The stupid radio's been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just Wait, about- Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, alright? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. I cannot believe you. You're gonna keel over in like a purple haze while we try and save our lives. I'm gonna be fine. Last time I just ate too much. This was a gimme. It's baby food. Oh, God.
This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was like weird earlier. But hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, it's up been ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah. And it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do! Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler! Maggie Adler? Yeah! She has a boat! Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but... Ren, what? <sighs> you could have mentioned this at any point. I mean, we walked right past it. I know. It. I'm sorry. But I've been, like, stewing in my own panic here for the last couple hours. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident burnout. Hey, come on. Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop... And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive... It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are you even talking about? You have no idea if there's a boat Guys, down- Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that yeah, you... Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You Just are... shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Nona, wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean, I guess. Why this are you isn't... making me shack up with it's this guy? It's quiet, both of you. God, you're like... Puppies, you're not gonna die if I go to the grocery store for ten minutes. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. Uh. Yeah, well, I don't really care right now what you're happy with. See you soon.
You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you remember me. I'm also just like never there. It's a loophole where I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation. You can just do your work over. So, wait. If you don't really go to, like, class, what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that, really. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so... Why didn't you tell us? You could have made this more of a, you know, a, a birthday thing instead of just a beach bash or whatever. I, d I don't even know why I mentioned it now, really. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa, and well, I was thinking about my last birthday when, no. Actually, sorry, never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. No, come on, I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just, this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not gonna pout about that. It's common decency, it's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh, yeah, I know. So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're... we're close. she get up there? She's alive. You're, you're alive? Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Clarissa! What? Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't... Uh, this is just really lost its charm, I have to say. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like... Uh, Clarissa! I can... Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. At least, please, somehow. Clarissa, can you come down? You think you can control me? Clarissa. What? I, I, no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. 
We're not trying? What about you? What have you done? You get stuck in Milner. You ask for our help. What have I done? I've sacrificed. I've made immense bottomless sacrifices. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? You scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Clarissa, was that... Was any part of you in there just now? In where? What are you talking about? You were like... I mean, were you like sleepwalking? Or... Can you remember? Or... How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you... do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Really? Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. So, you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah, and you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend and your idiot best... <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. It like, would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until... This one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely... It doesn't make it my fault! Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick! Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough, Clarissa. That's enough. It's too much right now. I can't... I can't believe... Ugh. She Nona, it was awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I... I don't... Just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the outs in free. Hey, whoa. Man, do you ever... Do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Yes? I have gotten, and presumably will continue to get, deja vu. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like cold mouse feet on your skin or something. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is, like, right there. So, let's try- Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. I go looking for trivia, I end up with disappointment. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios? Wave-assisted lock? 
whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must... Uh, okay, cool. Great. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a... Wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just want to... Okay, here. To... Whom it should concern, this island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction. Forces outside our control, like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? Let me finish then. Inside you'll find two wall equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt, scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah. We've all had the mechanical unicorn dream, but I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally face up with you. Oh my god, the, the Kamaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. Huh? I brought the jacket because I like the jacket. And I never said I wanted to go swimming. You just inferred it because I asked when the community pool opens. <laughs> I inferred it? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. No, I mean, I mean, why are you here? Why? Wait, am I supposed to be doing something right now? You gotta get your dad. I gotta get dad nightcrawlers from the shop. Yeah, but we're gonna do that on our way back. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the- Oh, the, the car? 
No, they don't... Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little, but they know I can fix a broken taillight. No, 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 no. Just listen to me. You will drown. Not here, but at Horn Lake, back at home. You seem really confident. She seems confident. I'm a little nervous. I would be. Relax, Alex. I'm going to teach you how to swim at the pool in the park. Don't worry about it. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. This is really quite insane, what's happening right now. I'm just sorry that apparently nobody realizes how insane this is. I know, right? Nobody really appreciates it when conditions are this good. No, it is... It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Uh, it's been... I, I don't know. It's been... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> I don't have any, I don't think. I don't believe you. So... Uh, <laughs> do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose? If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so... You know, no thanks. Um... I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. It doesn't matter, Clarissa, do what you want. No, it does matter, it does matter. I want you to feel good about the situation, you know? I, I want this to be good. Michael, uh... He loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? He just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. Yeah, I know already. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So apparently you love me. Is that right? <laughs> Well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. You skate? Not yet. Oh my god, I forgot about that thing. How could you already forget? I gave it to you like two months ago. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get a lot of use. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah. Get me a drink too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are... Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's, okay. Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so that's what I see in her. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just don't get it. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? 
Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... I was... It was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. But it worked out so great. How have... Um, you, I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. So, anyways, Chris is not here, which means we can't leave yet. So I don't really know what to do. Clarissa will be fine. She's, she hitchhiked to Mountain View for that concert, remember? Yeah. This is a little different. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. No. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a Jeff. boat. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the... Chateau de Adler. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. It's like a boat that needs keys. 
There are no ores. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We listen Sometimes to all of when I stuff, lock myself I out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Clarissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just... Hey, I could ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and, like, wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since. So I thought I'd camp it up. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. Well, apparently it's not that impossible since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril. Christ. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yeah. Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. How are you doing? How are you doing? You know what? Better than friggin' ever. I feel like I've never stopped winning since we landed. Ugh, great. Oh, it's a... it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said, hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Well, maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Maybe they needed to chart... Uh, signals through space or something? Uh, maybe.
ayam hitam. Nikmat lang po ang nagpagpagpag. Punta niyo ang resket. Ibigay sa English na. It's been disconnected. Bummer. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking out loud. You can only ever talk out loud. Ugh. Uh, put some clothes on. <laughs> Remember that guy? We're your parents. Your kids better than. Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Find anything useful? Not yet, but you know, the night is young. So, it's Nona's birthday in three days. Really? Awesome. Yeah, that, that's great. That's great. I can, um, I can really use that. I feel like, it's like I'm behind enemy lines with Just that Just be one. nice is what I'm trying to say. Say happy birthday, you know? Normal human stuff. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Got it. I'll turn up the nice, turn down the charm. Don't worry. Thanks. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? She made a lot of... What should I call these? S slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs, so say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Uh, Clarissa? Where are you? In the family room, dear. We're all in oil, marinated, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Nona, come on, honey, it's time to motor. Ah, 
There you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alexandra? possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. You walked in- I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen. And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. Don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humored as your mother's apple pie. And what if I... What if I don't, huh? What if I just stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight. What is it? Are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models and the new X-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy with my little eye a knot. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight, seven, six. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round out, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You, you can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what has seemed to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait with soak. We had to keep you here on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... You had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Hopefully, this will work as usual. Tell Michael he should go to school here. Okay, seriously, who are you?
so we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. Cur uh, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. Yeah. We kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh, good question. Maggie, ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like She that. wrote in her journal or something or other about tuning into the source of the problem in the cave. And I think she was talking about the ghosts. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? You want to see if it'll start? Uh, not really. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just the uh, opener. You can uh, skip this one, Alec. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, how would she even know this? I don't care how much research she did, this would be out of anyone's realm of expertise. Well, something better work, or... Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait, this is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a-clickin'. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be... Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake... Don't be like that, Jonas, come on. Forget it then, okay? I'm sorry. Let's not dirty the cabinets, I guess. Alright, just for anyone wondering, I used to say that a lot until I realized how weird it sounded. <laughs> 